Today we're at Aikens Creek, um, which is a tributary to the Klamath River in Humboldt County. Well, Aikens Creek is a pretty uh, unique location. The site is really important just because it provides some really cold water. And what we're trying to do here is create some Beautiful habitat, to add some large woody debris and create some complexity. We're seeing coho in here every year, but low numbers. We figured if we could do some habitat work within the stream, we could uh, bump up those numbers a little bit. When you see no fish or like really low numbers of fish and, and you immediately when you finish up the project in the fall uh, then there's fish mind-blowing we build it and there they are using what we built Aikens Creek was a right bank tributary to Bluff Creek uh, prior to 1964 The old Bluff Creek Channel used to run right here, adjacent to this channel. And as a result of the 64 storm, um, we lost all that, a uh, mile and a half of habitat. All this deposit that you see here on the floodplain is a result of the failures that happened along the roadway, and so they needed to put it somewhere, and it locked in this channel into this single thread channel that we see today. A lot of what we're seeing in Aikens is a lot of large cobbles, not much spawning gravel, zero connection to if there's a floodplain around. The reason we're not seeing many juvenile fish in the stream is because it's a very small stream, so there isn't a lot of habitat, at least with the gravel available up to this point. The studies here started 2001 with a river-wide stream assessment where we were looking at presence and absence of the three major salmonid species in the Klamath and every tributary between here and Iron Gate Dam. And Aikens Creek is one of the ones where we found coho that year and in every year uh, subsequent to that. It's important in the sense of it gets regular use. Maybe not high densities of fish, but it's providing habitat every year. It kind of came out in the Coho Ecology Project is one where we might want to help it along. Figured if we could do some habitat work within the stream, we could uh, bump up those numbers a little bit. We selected this project due to its fisheries value. It's an ideal spawning and rearing habitat for coho salmon and part of the recovery strategy is to introduce lost habitats for these fish. We decided that it had all the elements to restore for coho salmon. Well, the design process was a really intense collaborative effort over a solid five years with the Yurok tribe, the Karuk tribe, the Forest Service, California Department of Fish and Wildlife, NOAA Fisheries. When you have a lot of people involved, you know, we get the benefit of all of the knowledge from the different groups, but things, you know, take time because it is collaborative. This is an important cultural site as well, uh, important to both tribes, and we really want to make sure that we work together in order to work on this shared stewardship uh, of restoration that we're trying to achieve. 
In the past, it's been a practice to remove wood from uh, watersheds, and so now we're trying to put wood back into to reestablish these natural processes that are missing because of uh, our work before taking the stuff out because we didn't understand the importance of wood. I've always been a fisherman, and we're stewards of the land, and so this, this is gratifying. We build it, and there they are, using what we built. And there have been small wood loading projects in the past that have made a very evident difference in juvenile fish habitat through the summer. And when those small projects, they weren't very uh, resilient, and so they would get blown out. And you could see from year to year juvenile habitat that existed then was gone when that log was gone. The project we're doing now is uh, using larger wood and a lot more kind of uh, technique to get that wood stuck in the channel so that it shouldn't go anywhere. And hopefully we'll be just using the energy of the stream and the bed load moved by the stream to create the habitat against these structures that we're placing in the channel. So the goal is to grade the bed in a lot of cases, bring it up. We're going to trap all the sediment that's hopefully coming from upstream. And uh, when we get a bunch of good flows, we expect to see that. This is what's going to save our fish, you know, and, and we need more people doing this. This needs to get bigger and bigger. A few years, this thing will be looking, this will be looking nice, you know, and you're going to have more fish. Hopefully see some spawning gravel, we'll see some plunge pools, and we'll see water spreading out at, the, at, at medium and hopefully lower flows in places where it never had a chance to before. The only thing that's going to fix what man did is man. So here, here we are. I'm here to save salmon.